Hi, Abby Kelly friends. It's Mrs. Wiggins here. And today I'm reading a book that we read in kindergarten. And it's called Where's My Teddy? Um, and it's by Jez Albro. Now, this book has some opposites in it. Um, and I want to remind you what an opposite is. So it's words like big and little. Those are opposites. Um, soft and hard. Those are opposites. Or up and down. Those are words that are opposite. Now, the other thing I like about the story is it's a rhyming story. And you know, we all like to have rhyming stories and you can guess the words, right? Um, and they're just kind of fun to read. So where's my teddy? Look right on the front cover. That bear looks a little bit nervous, doesn't he? I think he's got a problem. Where's my teddy? Let's see what happens. It looks like he's in the middle of the woods. Ooh, look at that setting. That looks like the forest for sure. I don't see any people or bears in that picture. Wow. Now here's a title page. And there's a bear right on the, on the center of his head. It's by Jez Albro and it's Candlewick Press. That's the publisher. That's the people that made this into a book. They took the story and turned it into a book that we can read. Now here's our, our character, our first character that we're gonna meet is this guy right here, Eddie. Eddie's off to find his teddy. Eddie's teddy's name is Freddy. He's looking for his teddy bear. He lost him in the woods somewhere. It's dark and horrible in there. Help, said Eddie. I'm scared already. I want my bed. I want my teddy. He tiptoed on and on until something made him stop quite still. Look out, he thought. There's something there. What's that? A giant teddy bear? Is it Freddy? said Eddie. What a surprise! How did you get to be this size? Oh, you're too big to Cuddle and cuddle, he said, and I'll never fit both of us into my bed. Oh boy, he looks kind of disappointed. He's happy to find him, but it's so big now. Then out of the darkness, clearer and clearer, the sound of sobbing came nearer and nearer. Sobbing is crying, right? really hard crying. Soon the whole woods could hear the voice bawl. How did you get to be tiny and small? You're too small to huddle and cuddle, it said, and you'll only get lost in my giant size bed. Hmm, I wonder who's crying. Can you guess any predictions? It was a gigantic bear and a tiny teddy stomping toward the giant teddy and Eddie. Uh-oh. Do you see what he's got in his eyes? Got a little teddy bear. And there's our friend, Eddie, hiding. My Ted, gasped the bear. A bear, screamed Eddie. Mm -mm. I think Eddie's scared. A boy, yelled the bear. My teddy cried Eddie. Look! Hm. 
Then they ran and they ran through the dark woods back to their homes as fast as they could. Look, they swapped bears and now they're happy. They solved both of their problems. All the way back to their snuggly beds where they huddled and cuddled their own little teds. Ah, now they're so comfy in their bed and they both have their teddy bear back. Problem solved. Oh, and there's those woods again. Just as a reminder of the setting of that story, which is kind of scary. And that is the end. Where's My Teddy by Jez Albro. I hope you like that story. And I hope to see you again soon. And I hope that you're reading every day and that you're being kind to everybody in your house. Right? All right. Have a great day. Bye.